fun to be on first and get it over with for the night. So that's what we're going to do right now. And I'm going to do a Wynn Stewart song called Keeper of the Keys. And every time I think about Wynn Stewart and this song, I think about the time that I met him. I went to George's Roundup where he was really happening in Southern California as a as one of the big songs. I believe Playboy had just come out and I was just getting into the music business and we went down to George's Roundup and we asked, could I sing? Well, you just don't do that. The band leaders don't let people get up and sing and they hate girl singers anyway because they cause trouble on the bandstand. So when, when we asked, it is true. Is that right, guys? And you talk about a troublemaker. Uh, Maker. Anyway, we asked Wynn Stewart, we, my husband Claude McBride, asked him, could I sing? And it was like, you've got to be kidding. And so Claude said, well, she sings for Johnny Mosby. Well, little did Claude know that Wynn Stewart and Johnny Mosby did not get along. <laughs> we did not know that, swear to God. And Wynn Stewart said, ha. Oh, if she can sing for Johnny Mosby, she can sing for me. And I got up there and I was so scared, but I sang Keeper of the Keys. It knocked him out and he helped me do record sessions and everything from then on. Let's do 